does this for us is at the end of the day they throw all their prepared food in a freezer once a week we go to Red Lobster we pick up the stuff that they put in their freezer and we can give it out any business can do this there are laws in Ontario that protect them that when they donate something um, they have no liability for it, unless they have purposely tried to cause harm to somebody but if you're donating it out of goodwill and it's prepared food in a commercial kitchen then you can donate food to us. Um, we prefer it to be donated frozen, but we will take it fresh and get it out to the shelters right away. And we can take that and make sure that it goes to people rather than going into a dumpster. To waste, yeah. Yeah. Right now, we're basing our statistics off the 2006 Canadian Census. In Durham Region, according to the census, there were 9% of the population living at or below the poverty line. We're over 600,000 people in Durham Region mm -hmm. now, and so we estimate that there's probably 50,000 people that are living at or below the poverty line that we're somehow impacting on, whether it's on a regular basis or on a, you know, an occasional basis that they need help on. This is a huge area that's been really hard hit. The sense that I've got knocking on doors is there's a lot of more people unemployed than are showing up in the yeah. EI statistics. Mm -hmm. Because when they were laid off from, from their main job, they may have a small business or a part-time job, so they don't qualify for the ride. But And they're not captured by the staff, but they don't have enough money to pay the household expenses. So we were getting that sense as well. So I think the uh, employment numbers are um, very worried about the, the, the actual real statistic and how high that is. I think we can do better. And I think, you know, can we not also adopt a charity in Oshawa so that everyone's putting their efforts into yeah. being aware and, and supporting? I know that the numbers have increased. I know that we're seeing a different person come to the food bank that you know then was coming you know 10 years ago because we we've had people walk in here thinking that we serve the public uh, saying you know I'm a social worker I've worked all my life and and I'm you know now I don't have any employment insurance left it's all done and I'm on you know social assistance and this is the first time I've ever come to a food bank there are people that want to work there are people that are educated there are people 
that are totally different than what we, you know, just presume is a typical food bank user right yeah. now. Yeah. And and we need, you know, could be your neighbor still living in the house, driving a car, you know, has all sorts of assets, but they can't afford to put food on their table because they're barely hanging on to, you know, what they've got. My dream is is to you know, get a, a really efficient system that we can actually, working with the food banks, discover how many people are actually hungry in Durham. If we had it well organized, I think we might be able to give people seven days of food. I think at first we would shoot for five days and then move it on, you know, to seven days. Mm -hmm. um, and, and part of it is, too, is that, um, you know, for us, we get as much food as we can get donated, but there's times of year where people are generous. So we're going into the season of giving yes. right now, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then it kind of falls off a little bit, picks up a bit at Easter time, and then it's dead. You know, all the way through from Easter to next Thanksgiving. And this is where monetary donations are so important to us because we actually go out and we buy food with our relationship with the Ontario Association of Food Banks and Food Banks Canada. We buy direct from the manufacturer so we can get the food much cheaper than people can, you know, buy it in the grocery store. So sometimes it's a better option to get on our website, make a monetary donation. We know. You know, we're listening to the agencies that we're serving. We know what they're asking for. I think that we all need to take ownership in this. And so I, um, we're going to be approaching every one of the municipalities to say, we need to take care of our own. Yes. And, and the funding and the food, you know, raised in Durham Region stays in Durham Region for families and people in Durham Region. And that's, that's an important thing. Well, well Oshawa's got to be there to help, that's for sure. Absolutely. We've got to be part of the solution, so. Yeah.